nice carport thing there and a bit of fertilizer. Morning everyone. Contract in today and um, there's a few trees to take out on this site. I think we're here for two days, so um, yeah, it probably will take two days. This is the first job anyway, getting rid of this getting rid of this ash tree. This is why I don't tend to use the knee sender and chest rig and everything. Because I've got my anchor pipe and they'll just start cutting. So, for the sake of going to the that much point. Nice carport thing there and bits to avoid. 200's not been playing ball recently. Got fed up with it, so we need to Been climbing double rope for the last few climbs. Oh, I'll tell you what, my shoulders are noticing it. It's definitely a easy way of climbing, SRT. I mean, they're only small trees, but they have to go up and down a few times. So these are the panther spikes. Um, that you've probably seen me. I've not, not really worn them a great deal, um, but I've put, I've managed to fabricate the the Edelrid foot ascender onto the spikes. Um, <coughs> which you would have seen that ascender on my other videos because it was on the Edelrid spikes. But I'm going to be using these for. Whoop. For the foreseeable. <coughs> the uh, the gaffs on the other rids are just <laughs> like are non-existent now. Do I have anything left on them? Oh, not brought me silky. What am I going to do? All right. I need a new blade for this as well. Oh money. Yeah, I should rip through that really. 
but I have been doing a lot of pruning over the last few months. So that'd explain it. Spike pod. Seems to be alright. The first couple of times I've used them, they came. I felt like they came loose, but I feel a lot better now on there. That bit's a bit long. Watch that saw. There you go. You're tenacious. Not to on that building, is it? I hope not. <laughs> it Uh, just this one here. Just this one here. Have you got another rope, like for a tagline? Yeah, yeah, I'll grab it now. Might not need it, but I'm just thinking this this one out the back here, if we can get this hole in, in pieces that way, that's not a problem, and all that can go that way then. Well, that one below me will go that way. Basically, can process this side and then, then that other side can be done. I'll do this little one first here though, see what happens. We're well above the roof now anyway. So not too concerned.
Yeah. You probably won't put a half a wrap on that. I'm cutting it from here. So it's the, this long top one and then that bottom bit. Yep. Fantastic. Textbook that one. I don't know about this one, long one over here though. You got to pull that out now. Yeah! Perfect. I'm waiting for your heads to get out of the way of the road. Oh, nice one. Nice one, lads. Nice. Well, it tastes alright, that. Right, try and pull it up a bit first. That's it. You'll have to let them run more than that. Sometimes I'll put the face cut in before I tie it so I don't cut the rope. You just gotta hope your face cut's not too big and it just snaps randomly. <laughs> It'd be alright, it's not a big top or anything. It's more so it doesn't get caught on there again. If it has momentum past there, it won't catch it, will it? But. <laughs> 